Number 32, the number density of gas atoms at a certain location in the space above our planet is about one times 10 to the 11 atoms per meter cubed. And the pressure is 2.75 times 10 to the minus 19 newtons per meter squared in this space. What is the temperature? All right, so first thing is, let me just reinterpret this value here as I was trying to stress when I was reading it, uh, that they told us that basically there are one times 10 to the 11th atoms that's what it, uh, per cubic meter. That's what's meant by the number density, okay? Now remember, in terms of this chapter, atoms is represented by a capital N in terms of the variable, right? And the meter cube value is a volume, all right? They also told us that the pressure here is going to be uh, 2.75 times 10 to the negative 10th newtons per meter square, or AKA Pascal, right? That's a pressure. Okay, and they want us to find now temperature. They're saying, hey, find that temperature. I know this might look backwards for a lot of people, um, myself included. <laughs> Strange how you just reorganize the terms. It just doesn't feel right, right? It doesn't look right. Uh, so what is the temperature uh, there? So basically what we need to do is we have to find a relationship between these variables. And we notice that uh, this particular form of the ideal gas law fits the bill. So we have PV equals capital N times the Boltzmann constant times the temperature. Now, if I solve this for T, right, what do I have to do? I have to divide out the N and K, all right? N stands for number of moles, uh, number, excuse me, number of molecules or atoms. K is the Boltzmann constant. I have a general video. Take a look in the description below uh, for a link uh, detailing the concepts here. So this is going to be PV over capital N times then Boltzmann constant. That's equal to the temperature. Now notice here, they actually gave us, right, what did they give us? So they told us the pressure, so we know this. The Boltzmann constant is just a number, so we know that that's memorized. And now notice what they gave us here. They gave us actually a number that relates N and V together, but they told us the value of N over V. But in my formula here, I need V over N. So all I have to do is basically just flip this value. Okay, I'm going to plug this value in on the denominator. And then I should be able to solve. All right, it's actually fairly straightforward. So the pressure here is going to be 2.75 times 10 to the minus, 19, uh, minus 10th. Then divided now by, and this is the whole N over, uh, this is the whole V over N part. All right, uh, 1 times 10 to the 11th. And then multiplied by this Boltzmann constant of 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23. And when we do that, we will get our temperature in Kelvin. So just simply take out the calculator. So there's 2.75 times 10 to the minus 10. Divide that now by in parentheses, 1 times 10 to the 11th. Multiply that by 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23. And we get a value here of about 199. All right, so this is about 199 Kelvin is equal to the temperature. And that would be the temperature, okay? Pretty cold. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. See you next time.